sorry about those bad sick photos I was going hmm and I'm right where are I? I have my no more lame excuses book and I've taken notes but rather lame excuse we were doing a mock exam yesterday so I haven't done this on time and what's my other lame excuse oh, yeah, I've been doing all these videos to go with all the questions so that and it's all free it's on click the crusty thing so if you've got anything wrong just click it find, find the thing and I'll show you how to do it so that and if you don't get it the first time click it again and if you still don't get it click it again no one's gonna say oh, I've told you this because that's the problem we're hitting that stage where parents go I just keep explaining them percentages with dads normally um and they don't get it I keep trying and they don't get it well yeah, hey hey takes a while took me <laughs> my dear husband spent oh goodness only knows how many million times teach me how to do hill starts doesn't matter I still passed my test I haven't yet haven't yet reversed into anyone um or well I did once reverse a little bit into a lamppost only a little bit and I, I don't know why it suddenly jumped in front of behind me I don't um but it I wasn't doing a hill start at the time so there we are that's okay and no damage was done um so if it's if you need to do a thousand before you can get it regularly right do a thousand it's not difficult just trundle along uh so my favorite Winston Churchill phrase as you know only too well is if you, you know, success is going from failure to failure without losing your enthusiasm so just enthusiastically go from one bad thing to another you'll get there um oh you know see in my cupboard here it's a bit cold and so I've got well wrapped up and it gets lonely I get lonely I'm used to having lots of people run uh, so I thought if I had a pet rat it could sit on my shoulder like that see and I could call it Winston Churchill what do you think I love a pet rat called Winston Churchill and I could declare independence in our cupboard here we could be our own little independent state and when I'm too busy to attend to anybody's needs, I could run up a flag, couldn't I? That hangs outside that says, go away, sort it out yourselves. I'm at work. What do you think? Um, ooh, I've discovered something about men's psyches, which I don't know whether you need to know or not, really. Um, no, no, it's nothing that interesting. For years, well, certainly in the last few years, my husband's got really, really cold at the cathedral. So I've bought him long woolly long johns. I've bought him sheepskin things for his um, boots. I've bought him hand warmers and long vests. And I, d haven't, I have not understood why he hasn't worn them. Why not? This is an act of a loving wife trying to keep her husband, who she adores, warm. Surely he would see that? No, it took an old man to point out that actually I'd offended his dignity big time. It's a bit like if someone said to me, oh, I'll get you some, some nice underwear, and then going to the Damart catalogue. Then I understood, but truly I meant no offence. I was trying to be nice. Um, oh, I've been doing... Did I just tell you I did all these videos? I think I did, didn't I? Loads of videos. Um, just to show you how to get things right. Going down my list, you see, I should have gone down in order. Um, ah, CEM papers the ultimate secret um do as you're told when you're told it wasn't <laughs> difficult was it they've got a cd and it is not accompanied by written instructions now i assume this is all the outside peripheral stuff um rather than the actual individual questions um yet to find out um but this has come apart that there isn't written um instructions to go with the oral ones following one of our children who since turns out needs a uh, hearing aid in one ear and they're going to appeal about this so um mm, if your mum has to shout at you 10 times to do something uh then you've obviously trained her to do that it's not nice to so act first time and first time only she deserves that courtesy and to be honest the whole house will go much better whole house will go much better so uh, an army major once told me, he said, the army's not difficult. You do as you're told, when you're told, and you dress smart. A bit the same with this, really. Oh, in the mock exams, don't assume that everybody is going to uh, be nice to you. They are just as nervous as you are. So we need some small talk. Um, in the break, 
and don't back down other people's um, attempts to be nice to you. So you'll go, you know, sometimes you see someone say, hi, my name's Jessica. And their response is, and they go, um, is this your first mock exam? No. What school do you go to? St. Blogs. Would you like a crisp? No. You know, come on. That's not a nice thing to do to someone that's trying to be friendly. Chances are you're going to be going to secondary school, probably the grammar school, for the next... Most children that do these mock exams go on to the grammar school. Um, most of you know, most of them go on to pass. You're going to be together until you're 18, 19. Make friends. All for crisps, except crisps, unless you're allergic or something, in which case it'd be a bit delicious. Um, learn how to sort of reply. I go to some blogs... Where do you go to? Is it a good school? What's your favourite teacher called? Um, I'm off for a wee. Are you coming as well? Um, uh, no, I wouldn't like a crisp, but would you like one of these sweeties? Do you see what see, see the sort of thing I mean? Practice um, coming up with nice things to say, or even practice being the rude one. It's not difficult. Um, you just have monosyllabic answers, no eye contact, and you just look a bit miserable. People will try, but they won't persist. Um, there's a fine line between shyness and rudeness. I might, I want to teach you to be in the grammar school, but more than that, I want you to be a leader in your field. And that requires that you learn to put other people at their ease rather than demanding that they do that for you. Yeah. Uh, it's about taking responsibility. Oh, there is something I, about the CM I should point out. The boys' school exam... We've got, you know, when I talk about the appeals, it sounds like they all failed. <laughs> We're appealing for all of them. Simply not the case. There are more girls' spaces than boys' places, and therefore more girls will pass than boys. And But the these mock exam results tie in very tightly as a rough rule. Um, well, generally speaking, entirely, I can't say that there are no exceptions because, of course, there are exceptions. But generally, these mock exams are highly predictive, the end ones, of the marks you'll be getting in either the CEM or the GL papers, the girls' school or the boys' school. Um, so please don't get the impression that, that everybody failed because they didn't. Uh, generally speaking, they did very well. But you worry about those that didn't get through. That was a bit serious, wasn't it? Right, I'm still working out whether I should get a rat or not. Good though, isn't it? Winston Churchill. Oh, damn, this drives me nuts. Looks like I've got bad roots. I don't dye my hair. I'm not quite sure why it looks like that on screen, but it does. On that very vain note, I shall love you and leave you. Have a good week. Bye-bye.